Hello everyone, welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ella Forster has been sad since losing her baby in Emmerdale. In recent weeks, fans of the ITV soap found that child killer Ella was expecting after her brief romance with Dr. Liam Kavanagh. Liam was devastated by the revelation, especially since he had recently discovered that Ella murdered her best friend on her 11th birthday. The revelation brought back chilling recollections of his own late teenage daughter, Liana's death. Who can forget her death at the hands of the cunning Mina Jitla? Last week, Liam insisted that the best thing Ella could do was to terminate the pregnancy and leave the community. He even told Kane Dingle about his concerns for the unborn child's safety after it was born. Kane, on the other hand, encouraged him to take advantage of the opportunity to become a father again. The two's confidence dissolved completely. Later, in the salon, Ella spoke with Mandy Dingle how she planned to keep the baby despite Liam's protests that he wanted a paternity test. There were no changes in tonight's show. Patty Dingle saw Liam tending to Liana's grave and repeated his earlier worries. Ella was about to leave for her hospital appointment when her cab unexpectedly cancelled. Liam went to her aid, apologizing for his previous attitude, and it appeared that he was warming to the notion of being a father. During the scan, the monographer grew anxious since they could not find a foetus. Liam raced out, convinced she had lied about her pregnancy. Ella was terrified and couldn't figure out where the baby she was convinced she was carrying had gone. The medics tried to find her as she drifted out of the room, but she had already left. In the village, Liam revealed to Patty that he felt he had lost another kid and wanted Ella to leave. She returned and ran into Manpreet Sharma, who had been called by the hospital. Manpreet had to deliver the news to Ella that she had an embryonic pregnancy. This means that while the sock and placenta expand, the baby does not. Will Liam believe her when she tells him the news? Despite the couple's split, Ian Meodili's Tom King increased his grip over wife Belle. It comes after Belle ultimately decided to leave their marriage. Viewers of the ITV soap show cheered as victim Belle finally stood up to her abusive husband and departed their marriage. The two went on a disaster-filled trip to Wales, where Tom became more controlling over his partner than ever. Belle thought enough was enough and fled Wales, returning to her dingle home. With her abortion uncovered, she eventually chose to leave Tom, despite the fact that he had managed to win over many of her relatives and friends through skillful manipulation. Belle was left doubting whether or not she was being abused as she continued to support Tom, despite his behaviors. With the dissolution of their marriage unknown to the rest of the family, Belle remained a dement that, despite keeping much of the abuse hidden, she would not be reuniting with Tom. With Belle back at the Dingle house, Tom devised a new strategy to reintegrate her into the marital home while continuing to keep a close check on her after refusing to accept that she had escaped. After asking Nicola if he could move in with her and the rest of the King family, he told Belle that this freed up their house so she Belle could move back in declined with the offer, but later agreed on the condition that the home's locks be changed and she be the only one with the keys. Tom agreed, and the pair started about changing the locks as soon as possible. With a locksmith on the premises, he handed Belle a set of keys while Tom tried one of the sets of keys on the back door. He appeared doubtful as he returned them and requested that they be recut, thinking they were not operating properly. However, when the locksmith exited the house, Tom swiftly tracked him down to inform him that Belle had changed her mind and that she did want the set of keys after all, but he still wanted a fresh pair cut so that Belle would not know. The locksmith told him they either work or don't. Tom, desperate to get his hands on a set of keys so that he could maintain control of Belle's property at all times, said, she gets really bad with her nerves and everything has to be accounted for. Tom, 
clearly not believing what he was saying, said, Of course, I'll pay you for it. The locksmith, tempted by the offer of money, gave Tom a set of keys, and appeared to agree to remain silent in exchange for the extra cash, with Bell having no idea. With Tom now having twenty-four-sevenths access to Bell's whereabouts, might he be plotting another nasty scheme against his wife? And when will Bell recognize that, despite their agreement to split, he is still trying to manipulate her? Emmerdale viewers are demanding that soap executives bring back a beloved character's vengeful side and stop portraying him as soft. Fans rant, Kim needs to show her dark side again. Kim Tate, played by Claire King, is preparing to recapture the home farm after being the victim of a vengeance plot involving Rose Jackson and her drug dealer accomplice. ITV viewers are aware that Ruby Fox Milligan has been conspiring to bring Kim down. She also brought in Kim's romantic rival Rose Jackson, Will's ex-wife. Rose has also set Kim up for spiking Don's drink, resulting in a vehicle accident. Meanwhile, Don declared that she was leaving home farm and taking her children with her, believing they would be unsafe near their stepmother Kim. Kim packed her luggage and checked into a local bed and breakfast. Next week on the ITV soap, Rose takes a step further by attempting to get close to Kim's ex-husband Will when Kim's back is turned, but will Will fall for it? Emmerdale viewers are horrified to see the powerful Kim being deceived by Ruby, who is attempting to steal her husband. A fan took to social media and wrote, What I don't understand is that Dawn and her family swan it around Kim's house like they own it, giving ultimatums and orders to Kim and Kim knows she didn't spike the drink. If I were her, I'd chuck those freeloaders out pronto. An other person responded, She's delusional if she thinks that Kim will put up with all their crap. Wait for the fireworks to start. A fourth idea was created. I think it's about time Kim snapped and actually threw all the freeloaders out. Kim's character needs to show her dark side again. A fourth person responded, Totally agree been saying tell that lot to get out. They're letting Kyan go soft, and that's not her. A fifth person responded, Agree she has been far too nice lately bring back nasty Kim. Will Kim finally have her revenge? Will will see through Rose's attempts to lure him. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.